so our question is to find minimum and maximum of two integers without branching so of course finding the minimum and maximum of two integers is the one of the first three questions that you learn but here the thing is that you cannot branch so that's the problem so you cannot use anything like if statement and all so let's see so if it was just simple so we could have used minimum is equal to x is less than y if it is true then it would be x is the minimum and maximum similarly if x is greater than y then we will assign maximum as x or otherwise it will be y or otherwise we can write if statement if x is less than y then max is y min is x or else if x is greater than y then x is maximum and y is minimum but both of these uses branching and what happens if i don't want that so we will look at some bit manipulation so let's see here so this is the expression for the minimum and it looks complicated but we will try to see how it is happening so r is if i want to find the minimum so it is y is odd with x is or y ended with minus x is less than y so let's see why it is happening so similarly the expression for max is this one okay so how it is happening so let's see if x is less than y then this becomes what so this becomes true and it is 1 so now because there is a negation so it becomes a minus 1 and if we see then minus 1 is all once in two complement system okay so in two complements minus 1 is all once so now what happens so and how we find the two's complete complement like for one it will be just a simple one followed by all zeros in the left so now if you invert the positive number and it will become all ones and a zero here then we add plus one here and it become all one in the twos complement so it is minus one is all ones in a two complement representation on computers so this way now we know that okay this part is if x is less than y it becomes all ones a number with all ones and if you and with a number which is all ones so it will be basically this number itself okay so if we have something like some number one zero one one zero one we and it with all ones in the bit so it will be one and one is one this is zero this is one one zero and one so we see basically it is the above number so with all ones when you and then it is the number itself so that's what we did so here it becomes x zord with y so that is all we get after evaluating this if x is less than y and now what we do so we have x zord x zord y so now we see we have a new thing so we have x zor x zor y so let's see what is the property of zor so 0 zor 0 0 zor 1 <coughs> 1 zor 0 and 1 zor 1 so if those numbers are different zor will be 1 and if numbers are same zor will be 0 so what we see here is we have two numbers that are same and we zor them so it will be always zero so zero and now zord with y so what happens zero zord with y so i have some number y let's say some random number one one zero one zero one and i zord it with zero all zeros so what will be that number so it will be basically the above number itself one zor zero is one zero zord zero is zero one 0 1 1 so it will be the number itself so it becomes now y so now we see that if x is less than y then what happens so finally this became so it was so what we see here is so 
we saw here that okay so we were evaluating this but basically he, this was the expression we had to evaluate so this became all one so it is now so instead of x here actually it was y so now what happens is this becomes y or x or y so this becomes x or y okay and now here we saw y or y or x so this became a zero so we got an x so if x is less than y so we got a x so let's see similarly the maximum expression so the maximum expression is this one and what happens here now because x is greater than y so this statement becomes false so here there is a zero and two's complement is zero of minus zero is all all zeros okay so this number will be all zeros and if you and any number with all zeros so it will be a zero here and now x zord with zero so it will be x so if x was greater than y so because x is greater than y so maximum will be x here so this is the important thing to note and it's quite interesting so this is how to evaluate so few important things to remember here is x zord zero is x itself and x or x is zero so these are some of the important results and then minus 1 is can be represented as all ones in two's complement so these are the properties that we used okay so this way you can solve now you can find minimum and maximum without branching so i hope you understand this thanks a lot